Well, hello and welcome back. Today we've got a 2022 Jayco J Flight. It's a 224BH. It is still hooked up to the transport company's truck here, so I'm gonna see if I can sneak this in before he comes back. Power tongue jack up front. Uh, manual stabilizers down below. Nice, uh, decent pass through. Again, nice awning outside. I guess I'll hit weights uh, right before I come in, which is right now, but 45, 65 from a weight standpoint. Exterior speakers, nice outdoor kitchen. Um, the only problem is, is uh, this is kind of tucked down below, so it's good if you can, uh, if you're on the shorter side, if you're a taller person, you're gonna have to do some ducking. All right, moving around the back. Pretty straightforward, backup lights, which is of course uh, a Jayco thing. You do have uh, the backup camera mount up there as well. Again, Jayco does have Goodyear tires, so that is a nice bonus. Exterior uh, TV mount. J-Smart uh, blind spots and turning signals. And I'm gonna get in here. It does have solid surface stops. I'm gonna get in here and stop this beeping because it is uh, a little bit annoying. You've got your queen bed sitting right up front. Nice side windows. Got some nice storage in here, multiple shelves. Little area over here if you had a sleep machine. Power on uh, that side over there. I'm gonna flip the switch, which of course turns the blue on. We'll call that Jayco Blue. Um, wired for solar, so ready to rock and roll with that. There is a television mount right over here. Nice curtain, you can kinda pull it across. Uh, has a little angle to get around the door, that kind of thing. And moving on, underneath the bed here. Plenty of storage, up on shocks. And then turn it around to uh, the main area. Storage up top. Of course, you've got your stereo here. I like that they've uh, added USB ports on these things now, so they've got that working for you. Plenty of storage. Nice booth dinette. Little grab doors down below so you don't have to go in from the top every time. And then uh, over here, more storage, probably pantry, uh, what have you. Kind of going back over to the kitchen. Nice pull out drawer, full sized. Nice big sink dual weld kind of have your uh, power options right there nice big uh, stove and oven pretty standard kind of make them nice blue color microwave up top nice big uh, 12 volt RV fridge plenty of space there uh, walking over into the bunk area nice big double bunks there is a grab handle here Weight capacities are uh, also set in. USB power over there. 110 down below. And then uh, getting into the bathroom. Nice, nice under storage. I've got lights up top. Nice easy open roof vent. Kind of a fan of those versus the spin ones. The vents, AC, you can open and close them, which is cool. You can turn these ones around. And then of course, a huge, huge shower. Nice bubble dome up top. And then, uh, I mean, this says it all. There's plenty of room in there. I don't care how big you are. You're gonna fit in this shower. One perplexing thing I have on this particular camper, and I guess I will have to get some clarification, is there's no bathroom door. It's just not here so there's not a little hook for it there's no closing clasps and there's not room for a slider so I don't know if this is designed not to have a bathroom door or someone just forgot it I'm gonna go with that's probably the case but as it sets as it arrived there's there's no bathroom door and sort of checking underneath these 
I don't know where it would be. Hey, this is cool. That's huge. Can't believe I almost missed that. Tons of storage. Any other questions, comments, concerns, uh, please let me know. But overall, nice little camper. As soon as we uh, find a way to close up this bathroom, it'll be ready to roll.